today, YTP presents another Rants and Reviews. Today's episode, I will be taking a look at the figure from the Lost Boys, leader of the vampire motorcycle gang, David. Now, anyone who was a fan was a fan of 1980s horror will remember that in the latter part of the of the 80s a little movie called The Lost Boys. Well, here it is, folks. Now 2012. And we finally have our very first look at not just any figure of The Lost Boys, but the leader himself. The second in command, David. Now, those of you who have seen the film know exactly what I'm talking about when I say second in command. But those of you who have yet to see see the film, I advise you now to either close this down and watch the film or get ready for a spoiler. But anyway... It actually, it's not until the end of the film when you find out that the actual leader to the the Lost Boys is um, is boss and current boyfriend of divorced mother Lucy. Who um, turns out to be the leader of the grant, the group named Max. Uh, now I'm more on to the more important part. First, let us take a look at the box itself. see it comes in a typical it comes in a typical um, bubble container with a picture of David in the back in his vampire form. Now, anyone who remembers the film will know that David was played by none other than a young Kiefer Sutherland. Um, On the top, it says The Lost Boys. It also comes with a warning for choking hazard. And uh, that it comes with small parts. And not for children under three years. It also says that it's only for people ages 17 and up. Now, here's where my rant comes in. Uh, I have no problems yet. The only problem I will say is... If it's for ages 17 and up... I don't see giving it to a three-year-old, or even near that age. Uh, Secondly, if you're 17 and up, um, as mean as this is going to be to say, and it's going to be probably just as mean to hear, but if you're 17 and still chewing on your toys, I would have a a psychiatrist take a look at you. Um, Anyway, he... uh, You can faintly make out... uh, Kiefer Southern in in his vampire form in the back. Uh, But there he is. And uh, it comes to us from... I can't really see, can't really make that out, but let me see if I can try. Um, 
Hopefully you can make that out. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in without messing this up. Alright, well, you can kind of make it out. It says NECA. But, and also it says real toys on the other side. On the back, again on top it says the Lost Boys. It has a picture of the figure in his vampire form. Uh, it has the name of the wave that he comes in, which is the cult classics. Uh, sorry, my camera's kind of moving around there. And underneath is a few write-ups. Uh, first of all, it says that a collection of your favorite heroes and villains from classic horror, sci-fi, and action movies. Each figure is highly detailed and comes complete with movie-accurate accessories, uh, which we will get into later on in the film. And now it talks a little bit about the character. Uh, David is the charismatic leader of a California motorcycle gang. He uses it as influence along with the beauty of Star, his female companion, to lure an innocent Michael into vampirism. Once Michael realizes how the gang hunts to survive, he tries to break free of their curse. And finally, a little poem uh, at the end, which is, Sleep all day, party all night, never grow old, never die, it's fun to be a vampire. Um, anyway, to get back to the write-up on David, another rant I have, is that it's, I, I've, you know, done my research, you know, up on the David character, you know, watch the movie, you know, I've seen it, and, and it says that he tries to lure Michael into vampirism. But it turns out that what David's character is actually trying to do is Star is um, not yet a full vampire. So Star, so David is trying to um, lure Michael in so that. David can be Star's first human kill. Uh, at the bottom of this is um, the uh, called it is called also available, which is the other figures in this line, which is. Uh, yeah, water, please. Okay. Also available, uh, which is David, the Lost Boys, uh, Beetlejuice, uh, Trick or Treat, uh, which, um, yeah, Trick or Treat, uh, and Freddy vs. Jason, uh, the Jason character. Anyway, a uh, good, looks to be a good, strong wave, uh, all characters that I would pick up, personally. Uh, now, on to the accessories. Now, uh, uh, 4.30, I just did one. comes with a head, a pair of hands, and the infamous, and anybody who, again, who watches the film will know what this is, but this is the infamous bottle um, that the 
that Kiefer Sutherland, a.k.a. David, drinks from, and it's actually blood. Now, I don't know if it's just his blood, or if it's mixture, or if it's a mixture of, like, all three blood, or whatever, but, though, I think it's actually the leader's blood, which connects all the vampires, um, finally, let's move on to, um, first of all, the actual head that came with it was actually this one, and, uh, and these hands came with it. Um, I just like the gloved hands, and this is how I've decided, this is how I've decided to, um, pose him with the vampire face and the gloved hands. Uh, but you can mix, uh, match, you can do all sorts of things with it, uh, now on to the uh, articulation. First, he's got a ball jointed head, and secondly, he's got swivel in the arm, swivel in this arm, and he's also got a swivel in each foot. There is no leg. There is no leg articulation. Um, he is just pre-posed, but, um, which is fine by me because I really just like standing them up and, but anyway, uh, next will be his, um, His detail and to look at that face I mean that is a gruesome face you can see all the bones sticking out from underneath the skin you know the skin puffs up to form or, or thins out to form around the, the bone and the bone kind of ridges out to make that really monstrous look come out in him you know, just like on the box here, and, uh, that is him, uh, I hope you enjoy this review, and I will try to get better at these reviews, uh, I know I've been doing them for a little while, and I probably should be good at them by now, but, I still have some things to work on, and, but please comment, uh, tag, uh, comment, uh, write me if you have my email or something, and please subscribe or anything. Thank you, and goodbye.